Hello first grade and welcome to another visual art lesson with Miss Baker. This week and for the next couple of weeks we're going to be doing something very special. You are going to be working on a project with me, Mr. Martinez in dance, Miss Williams in vocal music, and Miss Henry in PE. We're all going to be working together to bring you this lesson about social distancing and ways you can have fun with it. For this project, we're going to be learning how to both make and use a jump rope. I'll explain why. As you probably know, we're doing something right now called social distancing. We're fighting the coronavirus, or COVID-19 as it's also called, and we need to stay at least six feet away from people when we're in public spaces. Public spaces include the grocery store, the park, and in the fall, maybe even school. So we are going to be learning today about what that means and how we can have some fun with it. Now, what exactly does six feet look like? Well, to figure that out, there are lots of fun ways to think about it. It can be one turkey vulture, it can be one alligator, or in our case, it's just about one jump rope away from another person. To make our jump ropes, we are going to be using recycled materials, meaning we are not going to buy anything new to make our jump rope. Not even a jump rope. We are going to be using plastic bags. Now, many artists use recycled materials in their work. Here's Vild Rolfson's Plastic Landscapes. He's a photographer. And here we have Robin Woolston's Field of Dreams, which is made of 45,000 plastic bags. I'm sure you have some around your house. If not, they're, you, they're easy to find. Um, they're everywhere, actually. That's why they're such a problem. You'll need about 21 of these plastic bags. And if you don't have them at home, you can find them um, at grocery stores and usually in recycling bins at the front of the store. You'll need a pair of scissors, a heavy weight. Here I have a pot, but you can use a book or something as well and some duct tape if you have it. If you don't have duct tape, you can use any sort of tape. If you don't have any tape at all, we can just tie knots. The first thing you'll need to do is collect your bags. Now, I always keep my single-use plastic bags when I have them, um, just because I use them for all sorts of things. So I just happen to have these everywhere. Um, so I recommend asking your mom or your dad, or your aunt or your uncle, whoever you're living with, if they have any plastic bags around. And they will most likely say yes. For this project, like I said, you'll need about 21 of them. And we're going to cut them open. Okay, so we're going to cut the handles off and then cut the bottom off as well. Here I go cutting the handles off. I'm going to be a little careful, um, but pretty straightforward. I'm going to flip my bag around and cut again. We're going to cut the bottom off all the way. As you can see, now I have a loop. And this is important. Understand that 20 bags is a lot, or 21 bags, so you can speed up that process by stacking your bags about five to six at a time, nice and straight, nice and flat, and you can cut many at the same time. So I'm going to make sure this is nice and straight, and make sure I have all of them, and I'm just going to snip about six bags at once. I'm going to check to make sure I got them all, and I did. And I flip it over and do the same thing. This will help save you some time. All right, now that you have your bags cut, they look should look something like this. You have a nice fluffy pile, 21 bags or so. You can discard the waste or save it for another use. I, I usually throw mine away. And now what we're going to do is turn them into loops. So you don't need to do much. We're going to start with um, three. We're going to make three loops and then do an additional three. So we have a total of six loops that we're making. If you would like, you can go ahead and loop up all of your bags. And what I mean by loop, we're just going to stretch them out and lay them out. So they should look like a little oval. Okay, there's one and two. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna link these together like a chain. I'm gonna put the first one on top, and then put my hand through, and just make a little link and pull it tight. You'll see me do this two more times, so don't worry if you didn't catch it. Okay, I have my initial loop and my other one. Tuck it under. Watch closely now. Simple as that. Might take you a few tries before you get it. Okay, and one more time. This is my third link. Okay, so now I have three longish strands of plastic bag, each with a knot in the middle, and they kind of look like little bows. I'm gonna line these all up. Okay, again, I've used a total of six bags, and I'm gonna twist the ends together. This is gonna be the handle of our jump rope. I have some duct tape, so I'm going to tape that off. If you don't have duct tape or masking tape or really any anything sticky like that, that's okay. You can tie a knot and it will work just as well. I, if you have duct tape though, it works really nicely for this because it creates a nice little handle. Okay, squeeze it together. Now we're going to separate our bags out. We're going to have three strands coming out of our end. And this is where I get my weight and put it on there so it doesn't move around, just makes your life easier. And all we're going to do is braid our three bags together. If you already know how to braid, this part will be easy. If you don't know how to braid, it might take you some time. But all you're doing is taking your left side, putting it over the middle, taking your right side, putting it over the middle, left side, right side, left, right side, right side. And you'll get the hang of it once you try. You're gonna to continue to braid, and after a while, you're going to move your weight so that you have more room to work. Okay, as you can see, I've been doing this for a while. So now I'm at the end of my bags. Um, I started with two linked together, as you recall. So now I'm at the end. So I've got my three loops again. I'm gonna take my other bags and do just what I did at the beginning and link them to my ends. So just like how we started, the same knot, and I'm just gonna extend my plastic bag ropes. You don't want to put them all on at the same time because then your ropes will be too long to work with and it will be too awkward. So you just want to add them as you need them. Okay, I'm going to do my third one there. Now I've got more bag to work with. And I'm going to continue braiding. As you're braiding, you just kind of keep your thumb on there to push some air out. And you'll get the hang of it. So, as you can see, I have quite a bit of rope now, and I'm coming closer and closer to the end of my bags. Like I said, it takes about 21 bags, maybe a few less, um, depending on your height. And you want the jump rope to reach, if you're standing in the middle of your jump rope, you want the ends to reach just about to your armpits. Okay. And 21 seems to be a good number for that. getting closer and closer to the end. I can see it. I'm going to continue to braid so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm braiding and moving my weight as I get closer to the end. Oh, the end is in sight. So I have no more bags to use. And all I'm going to do is tie that off in a little square knot. Twist it together. And now I'm going to make my other handle. I'm going to get another piece of duct tape and just wrap it around. And once again, if you don't have duct tape, that's okay. You can use masking tape. You can use no tape at all. If you want to just tie knots, you can. If you want to just use it as is, you can certainly do that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap that up tight, squeeze the air out of it, and I am just about done. I'm going to put another piece on just because I want to extend my handle a little bit and so you guys have an idea of what I'm doing there. I'm just folding it and wrapping it on itself a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
Now I've also got this fluffy end. I can um, fluff that out if I want it to be like a little bow. I can add some fringe. Or if I want to go minimal, I can just chop it right off. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to bring my ends together. You can see one handle is longer than the other, so that will drive me crazy. So I'm just going to even that out with another piece of tape. Um, you can have some fun with this too if you have other colors of tape. You can do stripes, you can decorate it, you can really personalize this any way you want. And that's better. And I've got a pretty big rope. Okay, I'm going to coil it up because that's all there is to it. Once you have your rope, it is ready to play with. Of course, at a safe distance.